Welcome back everybody. In this video we'll be talking about Space Crawler, which is uh, one of the games I planned for the Game Boy Competition 2021. Uh, and I'm also going to try and do it within the time frame of the GB Jam 9. Um, so if you remember the original uh, Space Crawler idea, it's a sci-fi farming exploration game. Uh, and I was going to do, you know, farming. Um, I was thinking of having different game types where you, you know, go from space shoot 'em up to you know, uh, walking around your ship, obviously be sci-fi themed, uh, some kind of inventory system keeping track of, you know, our plants and whatnot, and also upgrading our ship. So if we look at the Game Jam rules, right, uh, the theme is the original Game Boy, uh, which basically means we're only allowed to use four colors, and it has to be in the resolution of the Game Boy, which obviously GB Studio already does. And the colors is the only thing that kind of limits you, because in GB Studio you can obviously have uh, in color mode, and imagine you're going to play it on the uh, Game Boy Color. So all this means is it'll be a bit easier to make because we don't have to mess around with the colors. But it does uh, suggest that we can change the colors to be whatever we like, rather than the four greens, and uh, you know have our own like uh, mood and atmosphere based on the uh, the colors. Um, and obviously it has to be created within the time frame of the jam. So uh, I think this started. Yeah, so it started at 6 a.m. this morning, it looks like. And I started creating a um, a tile sheet. So as you can see here, we have, you know, like walls um, and like a computer terminal. And this is what the growing beds will look like for the plants, where they have a light above them. Uh, and obviously we start with little seeds and then they, they sprout and then turn into, uh, this one looks like grass, right? Obviously I have different things that look like, I don't know, flowers, Venus flytrap. Whatever can fit within this uh, two by two tiles, I will try and uh, you know make it happen. Um, but it really depends on the rest of the game. I haven't uh, obviously you've seen this, and that's as much thought as I've put into it really. Um, I'm not sure how the story will go, and how exploration will go, or how I don't know dialogue characters are. So uh, I started making a little character guy. So obviously I just. You know, I looked at the original uh, player from the the sample, and I just you know took some inspiration from it, like the legs and the arms, to make it look like it's moving. Uh, and I gave it um, I wanted to give it sunglasses, but I felt like the sunglasses kind of look a bit weird. Um, so I decided to make them into like goggles instead, and I feel like that really helps. Um, I actually just experiment quickly. Uh, that looks too much like gla glasses. Um, yeah, so the idea is we are, well, the idea that's coming out of this is that we are a doctor or a professor or something, and we clearly have an interest in plants, and that's why we're, you know, doing plants. It's obviously set in the future, that's why we're in space. Um, and obviously we're kind of wearing a space suit, so I was thinking of, you know, duplicating this and then making, making a version of this where he has the hood up, you know, like, a, like an actual spaceman would. So if I just do this quick, yeah, so you see that it's now, uh, you know, he's closed his helmet um, and that kind of adds some extra detail to it. Like imagine we're going to be walking around on the planet of a, or surface of a planet. Um, I'm really not sure to be honest, but I thought that'd be a cool mechanic that if you could like press a button and close your, um, you know, your helmet, that'd, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but beyond that, I haven't really thought about much. I've I've jumped into tiled and I've created a map. So the test map, I you know I started making what I was making in the um, the basic thing in the GIMP document with the tile sheet where there's you know three beds, there's a computer next to it. Uh, I started making these like um, hatches, you know, that the player would like open or something. Um, but I'm thinking it would be like an unlock thing or like this is where the um, the other spaceships connect to us or we connect to you know, the outside. And so this bit I imagine like oxygen tanks, right? Um, and they would obviously be the way we survive. Uh, it's kind of just artwork making it look like a sci-fi ship. And I realized I didn't really know how the ship would be or like what the ship needed. So I, I started thinking about it and I did this like little outline thing you see here. So if I just make it black for you, it's a bit easier to see. I imagined a cargo hold, right? So the cargo hold is obviously where the everything stored. There needed a bit that it would connect to another ship. I didn't know whether it'd be at the back or the side. Um, I got this bit here which would be um, like an unlocks bit where you know 
uh, where these hatches are, it would then go into this area, which would then be, we could progressively unlock another, you know, like workstation. And it could be that I, you know, I, I could unlock like five or something and they would just stack up. Uh, but I'm really not sure. Uh, and then here I was thinking like it needs an oxygen thing and like an electricity thing. Um, you know, where the player can adjust the controls. Obviously they might not be able to, but it at least look like that's what it does. And then obviously we need a place where the player steers the ship from, um, like the bridge, and then a place for them to sleep. So I've I've probably missed something like cafeteria or something, but if it's just us and we don't eat as a player, then it kind of works. But uh, I, I'm really, like obviously the theme of this is what I really cared about, and the idea that we're farming, that's like the two main things. And hopefully as they start to come together, it like gives me more of a vision. Uh, it's no good like planning constantly if you're not going to actually test anything. Um, so I've obviously just jumped straight in and started making some artwork. Uh, so yeah, I, I made that um, this layout into an actual thing. So we've got the cargo hold, you know, the exterior connection. Um, this bit would obviously connect to a hallway, which then connects to the labs. And then we got here the um, the uh, like an oxygen thing. And then uh, I in this other sheet, I made it into uh, an electrical thing. And then we've got uh, the, the hatch to go into our bedroom, and then we've got the main um, door thing. So I obviously put that into its own uh, level. I took out that window. I wasn't sure how I felt about the window in the level. Um, I think it kind of needs it, if I'm honest, but I'm really not sure. Um, but obviously this is all just uh, open to interpretation. So you see I put it into GB Studio. I put the uh, collision on it so uh, you know we can actually walk around and see how it feels. Um, and I'm starting to think about, you know, what the player is actually going to be doing on this ship. Um, I'm thinking, you know, in Among Us, how there's mini games in a way, like things like your oxygen level and your electrics, um, probably need to be checked up on, right? So I don't know how it will work if like you'll go into cryo sleep or something to move around to, you know, galaxy to galaxy or what. Um, but the idea that you have to manage your ship is kind of a nice one. Uh, so I, so I've put these computer terminals and I've kind of made the ship kind of big, so we have to actually move around it. Um, but we'll really see how it goes. It, I might just shrink this all down and condense it. Um, and obviously, because I've got the tile sheet, that'll be easy to do. So jumping in, obviously we have a little character that walks around. Uh, we can't go for anything yet, obviously, and we can't interact with anything. Um, but uh, it's shaping up, uh, and I'm uh, starting to see what could happen in this game, right? Um, I want to make the exterior of the ship next and uh, think about where the player actually is in, you know, I don't know, the universe and think about how they're going to be traversing the universe and also what they do when they get anywhere. Um, I might make it so there's planets, like I said before, where you kind of pick up the seeds or something and then you take them back to your lab. Um, I kind of need a place to like uh, buy your upgrades, you know, um, where you know your ship would go into a place and get fixed. Um, but yeah, it it might be that it's uh, I'm thinking too big and I have to scale it back. Uh, and in that case, that's fine. But um, we'll just see how it goes. I think that's the best thing to do. Just keep thinking about it. Keep uh, trying to improve it. Um, but yeah, this is what I got so far. Obviously, uh, over the weekend, unfortunately, I. Uh, be quite busy so I might not be able to do anything for the game but I'll definitely be thinking about it um, when I come back on to back on Monday I will start implementing some of my ideas and then on Tuesday I'll probably make a video about those ideas and where the game is at then but yeah that's everything for now I just want to thank my patrons they'll be up on screen right now thank you very much to you guys like the video if you like the video subscribe if you haven't already and, and I'd love to hear your comments on what you think this, uh, you know, what you think of the visuals so far and, uh, you know, any ideas you might have for the game. Uh, and I'd also love to hear if you are taking part in the Game Boy Jam and the Game Boy competition as well. So, uh, yeah, leave me a comment and I'll uh, reply to that. So, yeah, thanks again for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.